everyone, I'm Zoe Noble, a professional photographer and retoucher. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can color grade your images in Capture One Pro 10 using the color balance tool. The left is my original image and the right is with my color balance edits. In only a few minutes of editing, you can quickly and easily manipulate your image and that's why I love this tool. Okay, so let's get started. We'll head up to the tool tabs at the top of the window and select the color tab. So here we'll find lots of Capture One Pro's tools for manipulating color. I'm going to come down to the white balance and cool the image slightly. As this image is quite dark and moody, I think this will work well. I can use white balance as another tool for color grading. For shoots where accurate color is needed, like say in a product shoot, then I won't do this, but for this type of shoot, I can change it to my own preference. I'll move down to the color balance now. This is where we can really start to affect and enhance the look and feel of our image. The first wheel is called Master, and this will give an overall tone to your image. Just click on the control point in the middle of the circle, and you can start moving it around to adjust the master tone. If I move it to the left, towards the cooler tones on the wheel, the image also cools. If I move it to the right, where the warmer tones are, you've guessed it, the image gets warmer. Moving the pointer away from the center increases saturation, and moving it closer decreases it. You can also drag this slider to the left of the wheel to adjust the saturation. And you can see the pointer move as you do that. The slider on the right side of the wheel is to brighten or darken the image, but for the master wheel, this is disabled. On the other color wheels I'm about to show you, it's enabled. If you want to reset the pointer back to its original position, just double click on the control point. I think I'll cool the image a little bit more, so let me move the pointer into the bluer tones. The next tab shows you the three wheels that will change the shadows, midtones, and highlights. You can also see a larger version of each wheel here. I usually prefer this view so I can really see where I'm moving the pointer. First, let's work on the shadows. I'm going to move the pointer around to see what I prefer. These wheels make it really easy to experiment, and often, even when I know I'll be doing all my color work in Photoshop, I'll experiment with the color tools in Capture One first to give me a direction of where I want to take the colors in Photoshop. So it speeds everything up. I'm going to leave the pointer somewhere in the purple tones, and I can also experiment with the lightness slider here to see if I want to lighten or darken those shadows. So I'll just darken them a touch just to add a bit more contrast. Okay, so moving on to the midtones. Let's see what works here. You don't have to edit every tab, but it's nice to experiment and see if the image looks better with some editing. I think a little bit cooler is nice. So now let me see what I prefer with the lightness slider. So moving on to the highlights. Often I prefer complementary colors, so if I have more cooler tones in the shadows, I tend to go for warmer tones in the highlights, and vice versa. I definitely recommend understanding some basic concepts to do with color theory, just so you can implement these in your editing. Also notice how I'm not pulling the pointer so far away from the center. It's better to be subtle with your edits, rather than pushing it too far. Now I've made my changes, if I want to save this as a preset, I can come up to this icon here and select Save Preset. So this is a big time saver if I know that I'll want to use these color edits on future images. Capture One also has some ready-made presets you can select from as well. Now let's look at our before and after so we can compare. I'll go over to my browser and right-click on the thumbnail. Now, if I go down to New Variant, this will create a copy of my original. So in just a few minutes of editing, we've been able to change the look and feel of our image really easily and quickly. Now we have all our edits, we may want to copy these to another image in our series. If we select this arrow icon at the top of the window, a dialog box comes up. 
we can see that the checkbox for color balance has been selected. So now I can come down and choose the copy button and all my edits are saved and ready to be applied onto a new image. I can either select my new image and right click and now come down and choose apply adjustments. Or I can also press the apply adjustment button on the toolbar here. Now my color balance edits have been applied to this new image. In future tutorials, I'll show you how you can color grade using the curves and levels tools. So stay tuned for those as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. And if you liked the video, please like and share it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and have a great day.